National Smile Month product per day with Growing Smiles today is the Water Pick Water Flosser and I'm showing you two variations here of the Water Pick Water Flosser and you'll be able to have a look at more details about it on the website. Now, uh, like everything else that we've been doing, we are going to look at the who, what, where, when and why. So who might want to look at the Water Pick Water Flosser? Well, anybody who wants to reduce the amount of bacteria in their mouth, improve bleeding and generally improve their oral hygiene. Um, if you can't floss, won't floss, uh, won't use interdental brushes or don't want to throw any more plastic waste um, and have an impact on the environment, this is well worth a look. 78% of the population don't floss every day and a lot of that's because they can't or they struggle with floss so they just find the whole thing far too fiddly or they need three different sizes of, of interdental brush and it all becomes a, a, quite a pain in the neck to do. So I have a rule of three. If you need three different variations of interdental cleaning aids, so you might be looking at a floss because you've got um, very crowded lower front teeth and maybe two different sizes of interdental brush to clean in between at the back. Um, if you're using three things that need to be replaced regularly, then certainly it is uh, worth looking at the water pick water flosser as a cost effective way of cleaning in between your teeth. Um, you may well have gone to the dentist and you have been told that you have a, a BPE score of three or more. Now, that's a basic periodontal examination of three or more. So if you've got a three or more, that there's signs then that you have got gum pockets and they need to be cleaned and irrigated thoroughly. So also anybody who has a, a orthodontic is wearing braces. If you had implants, dental implants placed. Um, if you struggle just holding under dental brushes, so your dexterity has been compromised for whatever reason, if you're finding that food packs in between your teeth, um, if you're worried about bad breath, um, all these things can benefit from the regular use of a, of a water flosser. Um, so what actually is it? Um, I say we've got two variations here that we're going to have a look at. So it's a unit that disrupts the plaque biofilm through a pulsating jet of water or mouthwash, you can put mouthwash in the reservoir um, and that's a way of getting maybe fluoride or it could be some form of clinexidine or something that your dentist has recommended. Now two options as I say, you've got, uh, this is the cordless version um, and then you have, this is the ultra unit and you do need with the ultra a two pin socket. Now many houses I have found uh, do not ha have shaver sockets anymore so if that's the case then your, your best option is going to be the cordless water flosser. And you recharge it and then off it goes. It has got a, a reservoir here that you put the water in. It's quite straightforward. You just open the water uh, reservoir. You fill it with water from the tap. Um, warm water, if you've got sensitivity, don't put freezing cold water in this because it'll have you in the ceiling and you'll not be happy. Put warm water in the reservoir and close the reservoir up. And then with the cordless one, you have two different settings. But as I say, go and have a wee look at the, the setting, the power settings on uh, on the website please. So how this actually works then, I'm just going to try and demonstrate this. This may or may not work if I turn this on. So you can actually see how this is stuck. It's actually quite powerful there. It's a pulsating jet and it's the pressure and the pulsations combined that actually remove 99% of the plaque biofilm with a three second application. Now um, I'm going to try and show this on a model which may or may not work so bear with me. So what you want to do is place it down round where the gum and the tooth meet and turn it on and you can see it does uh, fly all over the place. So you keep your mouth closed. Do not turn it on until it's inside your mouth. In three seconds and each side all the way around your mouth. Okay. And what you will find is that it will dribble out your mouth and uh, if you've just had um, some sort of oat cereal first thing, you will find that it is very satisfying to see it all end up in the, uh, in the wash hand basin. So as I say, use warm water if you're sensitive or mouth rinse. You may well find that your dentist actually recommends some form of mouth rinse in there. Um, it comes with a variation of tips depending on which unit you buy. Um, I often recommend, this is actually the orthodontic tip, I often recommend that people start with that because you can actually feel where you're placing it um, in your mouth because you do need to keep your mouth sort of semi-closed so you can actually feel that you're going around the gum margin, that you're pointing down in the right direction as you go around there. So that's the orthodontic tip. Uh, this is the standard tip and this is the implant care 
one and this is, is called the Perio pickpocket tip and because it is flexible it will go down into your gum pocket. Now not all the units actually come with this so you may have to buy that separately so as I say it, it depends on what unit you actually uh, have purchased. Um, now where are you going to use it down towards the gum between the gum and the tooth? Three to five second jet per sight um, and as I say just make sure you don't turn it on before you put it in your mouth. We often recommend that you use it for the first time uh, in the shower or in the bath where you, it actually is not going to really matter too much if you make a bit of a mess. Um, when are you going to use it? You're going to use it once a day as advised by a dental professional um, always before you brush your teeth unless you've been told otherwise because that way the toothpaste gets around the fluoride in the toothpaste or whatever ingredients in your toothpaste get around the tooth surfaces and are actually able to clean uh, actually to do the maximum benefit by staying on the teeth. The big difference between the two units is the ultra cordless uh, the ultra unit has the, the, the tip on a cable which makes it much easier to manoeuvre and then there's on off switch that you actually use as you actually go around your mouth so that, those are the sort of big differences with this so why why would you actually even want to think about this well the evidence supports that um a water pick water filter has the ability to disrupt the biofilm reduce bleeding and gum bacteria in your mouth these were designed and developed by an engineer and a periodontist a gum specialist in the u.s um, in the late 50s early 60s and they were almost ahead of their time because what they wanted to do was reduce the bacterial load and their theory was that that in itself was going to actually improve oral health and it has been shown to benefit this and it's easy it's effective it's a relatively quick way of improving oral health but you know you do need to spend three to five seconds per site to actually get the maximum benefit out of it and it should become part of, of your daily oral hygiene routine I say it's fairly straightforward to use um, I say they become cost effective because you don't have to keep replacing them. So there you go, National Smile Month's product per day uh, with Growing Smiles today is the Water Pick Water Flosser. And uh, have a wee look at it on the website for all the finer details of the differences between the units and, and the benefits. Thanks.